Hey Battle Squad, welcome to vlog 4, let's get started. Hey Jason. Hey, how you going? How's it going? Yeah, good. Alright, Jason's got a new blaster that he wants to show me. What is it? That's the spam. The spam. Alright, I've so, never heard of this before. Tell okay, us. so it basically stands for... Um, it's basically a, a top slide prime action mag fed falcon fire. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Is it loaded? There's one in there. One in there, so it shoots uh, full length? No, no, it's only a half length. Half length, okay, cool. So, it's pretty cool, I like it. It feels nice. Yeah, so this takes a magazine, right? So this takes... This takes the katanas and or it will take the uh, worker mags, it does both. Right, and where do you get this from? I got that off Gavin Fuzzy online. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's have another shot with this bad boy. All right. Sorry. Wow. He says it's this is cool. He says it's like easy to, yeah, to prime. To prime. How, how, what's the kilogram of the spring? Mm, yeah, I'm guessing maybe around nine to ten. Yeah, that's, maybe that's, that's, nine, that's probably see. easy for you. Prime and, and see. Oh. No, it's easy to prime. Seriously. How'd you do that? Seriously. Um, piano wire springs. What? That shoots yeah. well. What's a pia piano wire? Piano wire is different to what they use in a lot of other blasters, like K26 and K25 springs are actually a hardened steel spring that makes them really hard to prime. Piano wire springs have a different rebound rate compared to a compression rate, so they're easy to compress and they have a much higher rebound rate. Okay, let's go over here and have a look at these blasters. What do we have here? Oh, there's a cedar. That's my babe. Uh, gonna have a review of that coming on Thursday, so. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see that review. How's it going, guys? Yeah, good, good. How are you? Thanks, yeah, you very well, thank you. Oh, this is new. This is, no, this is the one I sold one. you. That's the it? one you gave me. Yeah. And that's the one I brushed. Wow. This is Jeremy's blaster. Jeremy, how'd you go? Did you manage to fix the problem with this? Yeah, yeah. Catch yeah. plate. It's um, a little bit. A little bit weaker, a little bit thinner, and it's just overshooting. It's overshooting, is it? Yeah, it's actually. And you got your new glasses too. I do. How, how's that? Yeah, they're good. They look great. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, seems nice. Um, you got your That's new it. glasses too. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. yeah. How are you finding them? Early days, but I mean, the um, it's such a pain wearing glasses under some old Bunnings you know, hardware store is, yeah. glasses, and they fog up and they look really weird. Whereas these are. You know, I wore these in the shops just the other, uh, half an hour ago. No one looked, you know, twice at me really. The glass, yeah. the glasses, are, uh, plastic glasses are in there. That's so the, cool. See if you can see it in there. I'm yeah. Sure. And then the outside, Fantastic. the outside, uh, there's a gasket there, but it fits in. There's just a very simple, yeah, changeable lens. I can put on a polarized lens or That's a beautiful. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to suit up and we will get ready for the game. All right. So I'm trying something different today. I am going to be using my semi-autos today. So usually I use full autos. Today I'm using a Stripe and I'm using a Hurricane and I have bullets flying all over me so I need to be careful. But just to mix it up for you guys, something different. So hope you enjoy. Did that hit me? One? Okay, no problem. D did you hit me? Oh, did you hit me? Okay, no problem. Okay, so using this strife is really cool actually because this strife is very loud, so I hope you can hear me. But this strife actually has a trigger pull. So so, it's very different to my. Yep. That's a hit. I'm dead, I'm dead. The one thing I want to say 
immediately is that I use a lot less start. I just put a face mask on because I'm going to get really close to people and I want to protect my face a little bit. But you use a lot less starts with these things and it's actually quite accurate. I did not build this, it's got a 3D printed cage. It has uh, fangs with a 3S. Oh, good shot, well done, I'm dead. You did well, good job. That was a really good sneak by Sean. Yep. Friendly behind you. That's two hits, Sean. No, missed. Yeah, <laughs> you got me too. Oh, One shot. Yeah. <laughs> what happened here? Shama, thanks for that call, it saved my life. No worries. I need to reload. Roger, I need to reload. Roger, thank you. Right, Roger. Is it behind the building? Is it behind the building? I'll handle the left. Yeah, good shot, Seb. I'm up. That's two hits, uh, Jason. Yeah, that's two hits. Good job. Did I hit you? No problem. Having a ref trigger is so freaking fantastic. A lot of people think that the FDOs have an instantaneous rev. I can assure you they do not. Having a ref trigger is... I mean, I like it a great deal better. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think I got you once. You, you got me once, yeah. Yeah, cool. You often have these amazing blasters in your arsenal that you just never use. The Hurricane and the freaking Strife are fantastic. I miss these bad boys. <sighs> Shema, what's over there? Can I go there? Can you cover that, please? Yes, I will. No worries. So, going up against a fully automatic is quite difficult, so I'm going to try and be careful with that. Maybe I'll strike him when he's out. I don't feel anything. Okay, going up against a nemesis is also difficult. Right. No point staying here. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Good try. Roger. Is that there? Is that it? Yeah. Good job. Good job, guys. That was epic. Well done. You guys put up a great fight. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe. I have a review of the sitter coming out on Thursday. So check that out, and I'll see you next time.